In this video, I'm going to talk to you about prime factor decomposition. This is sometimes called writing a number as the product of its prime factors. Now let's have a look at this phrase, prime factor decomposition. Let's start with the word factor. Now a factor is a number that goes into another number or divides a number. Factors usually come in pairs and we're going to be looking for small factors here that are also prime numbers. Now prime numbers are special numbers that can only be divided by one and themselves. In other words, they have only two factors. So the prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, and so on. So we'll bear those in mind in a minute. So those are the prime numbers. And decomposition means to break things down into pieces. If you think about uh, the body of an animal after it's died, buried in the ground, it's going to decompose, it's going to break down. So prime factor decomposition is breaking down numbers into their prime factors. That is factors, numbers that go into the number, which are also prime numbers. Let's look at an example. Let's take the number 30. Now, we're going to break this down into its prime factors. There are several ways of doing this. I'm going to show you one method now called the ladder. So we take 30 and we draw the first rung of our ladder. And on the left hand side, we want to find the first, the smallest prime number that will go into 30. So we look down our list, which is the smallest number here that will go into 30? Well, because 30 is an even number, 2 will go into 30. So the smallest prime number that goes into 30 is 2. So we write the 2 there. Then we divide 30 by 2 and we put the answer underneath. So 30 divided by 2 is 15. And then we draw the second rung of our ladder. And again, we look down our list of prime numbers to see which one is the smallest that will divide 15. So because 15 is an odd number, you can't divide by 2. But 15 does divide by 3. So the next prime number is 3. So then we divide 15 by 3, which gives us 5. And then we draw the next rung of our ladder. Now we do the same thing again. We look for the first prime number that we can divide 5 by. So 5 doesn't divide by 2. It doesn't divide by 3. But it does divide by 5. So we put 5 there. And when we divide 5 by 5, we get 1. And when we're doing prime factor decomposition using this method, when we get to 1, we stop because we've gone as far as we can. And now we have our prime factors. Our prime factors of 30 are 2, 3 and 5. Now, we can use this to do what's called writing the number as a product of its prime factors. Now, product means multiply. So the product of its prime factors means that we multiply the prime factors 2, 3, and 5 together to make 30. So that is 30 written as a product of its prime factors. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30. So that works. Let's look at another example. Let's choose a slightly bigger number. This time we're going to choose 84. So now we want to start by drawing the first rung of our ladder. And we look over here at our list of prime numbers, which is the first number that goes into 84. Well, obviously 84 is an even number, so 2 will go into 84. So we write 2 there. 84 divided by 2 will be 42. So we write 42 underneath in our next rung. Now 42 is also an even number, 
So again, we can divide by 2. 42 divided by 2 is 21. Now, 21 isn't an even number, so we can't divide by 2. But 21 does divide by 3. So we put a 3 there. 21 divided by 3 is 7. Now, looking down our list, 2 won't go into 7, 3 won't go into 7, 5 won't go into 7, but 7 will go into 7. So we can now divide by 7, and 7 divided by 7 is 1. So we finished. So now we can write 84 as a product of its prime factors. So we've got 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 equals 84. Now there's something else we can do here, which is to, to do what's called index form. Now index means powers. It's, it's uh, the singular of indices, which is the plural. And what that means is if we've got two of the same factor, rather than writing them as we have here, 2 times 2, we can write them more simply because we know that 2 times 2 can be written as 2 squared. And that squared there, that's the index. So we've got 2 squared times 3 times 7 equals 84. That is 84 written as a, the product of its prime factors in index form. And you see that's neater than how we had to start with. OK, here's a, a typical simple exam question. So it says, write 136 as the product of its prime factors and give your answer in index form. So as we did before, we'll start off by writing down the number, so 136. And we're going to do our ladder, so the first rung there. Now we can see that 136 is an even number, so 2 will go into it. So our first prime number is 2. If we divide 136 by 2, we get 68. Now again, 68 is an even number, so again 2 will go into it. And if we divide 68 by 2, we get 34. And again, 34 is an even number, so we can divide it by 2 again. And if we divide 34 by 2, we get 17. Now, so far, we haven't needed to write down any prime numbers in a list because it's been fairly easy. But at this stage, we can see that 2 won't go into 17 because 17 isn't an even number. So it might be a good idea to write down our prime numbers. So our prime numbers were 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and 17. We could keep going, but we shouldn't need to because we can see that we can divide 17 by 17. So we're going to have 17 over here, and then 17 divided by 17 is 1. So we finished. But we haven't quite finished the question, because it says, give your answer in index form when 136 is the product of its prime factors. So we've got to write it as the product of its prime factors in index form. So 136, it equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 17. Those were the prime factors that we worked out over here. But we can write that more simply as 136. And we've got 2 times 2 times 2. So that's going to be 2 cubed because there are 3 cubed twos multiplied together and then times 17. So written as the product of its prime factors in index form 136 equals 2 cubed multiplied by 17.